Classroom Reformation. Um, it's like one of my favorite vintage stores in LA. You guys actually have one here in New York. But all the jewelry is either from Catbird or Jackie Aish or vintage jewelry. This is super old. My mom found me this, and that's from my mom and dad. When you have things like leather or sequins or oh, I mean, I it's, can't even. It can be very distracting when you're performing, yeah, especially when you're playing an instrument. I have my guitar strap on me constantly, and yeah. I kind of feel like that guitar strap just works better when I'm wearing cotton or something kind of silky. Now we've kind of realized too. Yes, of course, the aesthetic of the show is important to us, but that's not the show. And I'd rather be more comfortable than looking better than how I feel inside and being like, I'm miserable, I can't wait to like get back on the bus and change. I, I want to feel comfortable even like It just makes do, you a better It performer. makes you a better performer. Hey guys, it's Gregory Dele Carpini Jr., fashion editor with Billboard. Today we're here with 78 Violet, who just dropped a new single, Hot House. Hey ladies. Hi, how, how are, are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Oh, great. So with this new single you brought back, maybe speak about the style that you wanted to bring artistically. Well, um, you know, this, this song for us is, is really special because we wrote it with a dear friend of ours who we've been co-writing a lot with over the past couple years, Mikey Einzinger from Incubus. And just, I think, 
really finding who our our sound is now as as older adult artists instead of just as you know young teenagers and I think that our experience and our you know our life experience definitely was a huge part of, of making you know the, the full album to play our first show in five years at the Roxy was kind of iconic just to be on Sunset Strip. Mm -hmm. And we never played there before. We never so. played there. And I mean, the show at the Gramercy, there had mm -hmm. already been some YouTube clips up from the Roxy show and people knew the lyrics just from that and from the Hot House release the day before. It so it was like, it, it was really actually emotional for Ali and I because I, I, I look out at the audience and I'm like, this is what we're doing it for is for them. And to see that response back is just, it's overwhelming. It's incredible. Yeah. Now you two are also kind of taking over Hollywood and are in a bunch of new movies coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some that you are super excited about? I'm really excited about Grown Ups too. Um, we filmed that out in Boston and we had a really, really good time. Um, you know, fun, like small cameo role, but it's kind of a bunch of us that all were able to kind of help out on the younger cast side. I have a film coming out October 4th um, for Lionsgate called Grace Unplugged that I'm really excited about. Um, it's a music oriented film and my character um, plays four songs in the movie and so I'm able to you know have a piece of the soundtrack and I love the film I love how it turned out and it's it's really heartwarming and sweet and something that kind of Lionsgate hasn't done for a bit so I'm really excited for it to come out. So, musically moving forward what can we expect to see in the upcoming months? This moment for us right now is really just connecting with the fans making sure that we're you know reaching out to them like in a one-on-one -on -one sort of situation mm -hmm. where um, they're able to spread the music to people that you know, haven't heard of our stuff yet, um, which is always exciting when you get new fans. Okay.